Welcome back. We want to continue on where we were working on last time where we we're building that simple Java GUI framework. We want to make it so instead of simply having this boring panel right here, or excuse me, we want to make it so instead of having this just boring frame right here, we have an actual panel we can do things with and actually use in a GUI fashion. And so we left off where we made our controller and our frame and that's all it does right now. So the next step we need to do is we actually need to put a panel inside that so we can go ahead and then do stuff with that GUI. So the next step we want to do is we've already got our frame right here. We have our basic uh, structure for it. We only have to add a couple more lines to finish that off. But first we need to go ahead and make the sub, excuse me, first thing we need to do is we need to make our panel class and put that inside the frame so we can go from there. Let's go ahead and build that right now. So inside my demo.view package, again, this is part of the view package, so it's where we're going to put it. We're going to right click, we're going to go to new, and we're going to do new class. And this one we're going to give the name of demo panel because it's again, it's the panel class we're making. So we'll put panel in the name, make it really easy to work with. And then hit finish. We're going to have a couple imports we have to do. We have to have a J panel first so we can have the GUI at reference. We also have the reference to our controller so we can send information back to that so we can do anything that's going along with that. So we'll put those two in there for that to start off. Um, I like to spell out all my imports when I'm doing explanation videos, but there's also shorthand tricks you can use as well. Take a look at um, how to do that in some of my other videos and or some good uh, textbook resources or other online tools you can find out there. So let's go ahead and do those imports right now. The first thing we have is the import. And I'm going to do the uh, controller first. So we're going to go to demo.controller.controller because we need to have a reference to the controller that we can use inside the code. And then we're going to go and have our um, swing imports. So we have import and then javax.swing.jpanel. So those are the two imports we have to start off with in order to get this going and to have it do something at all for us. And so the, again, just like we did inside our demo frame where it extends J panel, our demo panel needs to extend J panel. So we'll add that extends keyword right here. And then inside here, we're going to do a data member just like we did earlier for the controller. So a private controller app and our constructor, which will also reference that panel, um, excuse me, that controller parameter. So we have a public demo panel and we're going to pass it a controller as a parameter. Again, give it the really creative name of app. Do our squigs, get that started. Because again, this has the extends keyword, the first line of our constructor also needs to be a call to super. We'll get in practice using that all the time. Then we initialize our data member from the parameter like we did before, this.app equals app. And now we've got our basic panel right here. Now, this panel doesn't say anything, so we're going to do a couple helper methods so we can have that as our structure, so we can do some cool stuff as we go along. We have three helper methods our panel need to have, so we can actually do some good stuff with that. We have setup panel, setup layout, and setup listeners. Those are the three things we have to have. So we're going to go ahead and put those uh, private helper methods in here that we can get called later from the constructor as we go along. So we have a private void setup panel. And that's where we're going to put all the code to load things into the panel itself. We have our private void set up listeners and that's where we're going to handle all the code that's attached to doing the things to listen for events and I'm going to show you some great stuff with that as well and then we have our private void set up layout and our private void setup layout is how we do any layout management we want to have so we can actually put things and decide where they want to go on the screen so those are the three helper methods we want to have as part of our panel. So we'll go ahead and call those at the bottom of our um, constructor, just like we do a setup frame in our frame subclass. So we do setup panel first, setup listeners next, and then setup layout last. And we'll talk about all those methods as we go through the series of videos on how we can do a quick little GUI and do all those cool different pieces with that. So what we want to do just to make sure we can see that we've got our panel inside here. Inside my setup panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go add another import. I'm going to go to import java.awt.color. So I can have access to the color library and do some cool stuff with that. And this is a great way you can automatically see that we're in the right screen, not simply that blank white screen of boringness we just had earlier. Uh, yeah, we can do better than that. So inside setup panel, the first thing I'm going to have, I'm going to do this.setBackground. I'm going to pass it color dot magenta. I love magenta. It's a great color. It's bright. You can see it and it's very easy to be seen. And so because my demo panel, the first thing it does is it initializes the um, super call. Then it calls the this dot app equals app to initialize the parameter from the data or initialize the data member from the parameter. And then it calls all the associated helper methods. So this way we can see that when I go over here, when I load this panel, I know I have it in because it'll have a lovely magenta screen. I need to go to my frame class. I've got three lines I need to add so I can actually finalize this and have it ready to go. And I need to basically make a reference to my panel 
create it, and then install it inside the screen. So I'm going to go up here, make another data member. And so private demo panel. And the creative name again, panel. I give boring names, but it makes it like really easy. And then I'm going to do this dot panel equals, and then a new demo panel. I'm going to pass it for its reference to the controller. I'm going to pass it the, con uh, the control reference we already have inside our frame as well. So I'm going to pass it this dot app. So I have a reference to the controller that I'm sending from the frame to the panel so it can have access to it. And so that initializes it right there. Then we call setup frame. And the first line of setup frame, I'm going to install my panel with this dot set content. And I'm going to pass it, again, the really boring name of panel. So set content pane installs the panel into the window for the frame for it so I can actually see it. And let's go ahead and take this look. So we should see a lovely magenta frame when I run my program this time. So now I hit play and my first window has a lovely magenta screen. So this is great. I've now made it so I can actually put a panel inside a frame. We see that it's the correct panel because it's this bright magenta that's even reflecting back on me right now. It's amazing stuff. So let's go ahead and do a quick review of what we did to have this happen and then go from there and we'll go to the next video. So the first thing we did is we made our controller class and our controller class is where the information goes back and forth. I have the frame right here and I make a frame reference in here. I don't have to make a panel. I only have to make the frame itself because the frame is what does all the work. Inside my constructor, I initialize the frame by passing it a reference to the param the controller, which is a, by passing it this as a parameter, which tends me to the demo frame class. So to make my demo frame, I have my two data members of a controller and a demo panel. I send the reference right here. I then call super. I then pass the parameter to its data member, so I have it initialized right there. And then I call the constructor for demo panel, which takes me to demo panel.java. And I do all the work that's inside here first. So I take the, <clears throat> so I take the um, parameter. I assign the super call, then I do the uh, parameter to the data member. I call setup panel, setup listeners, and setup layout. The only thing I have happening right now is inside setup panel, make it magenta. So, I, oh, I can see it. I notice where I am. And then I go back after I finish that constructor. That takes me back into the frame. I take that right here, then I call my setup frame method. First thing in setup frame is I install that panel I just made inside my frame so I have access to it. I set my size to be 800 by 600 because the lovely big window is great and cool. I assign it so it's resizable. I can make it go shrink and grow as I want. And then I give it a title because, hey, we want to have a title for it. Finally, the last line that I have to have is this dot set visible true so it'll actually show up on screen. And when I hit play and run, I get this lovely video right here of this great window app right here, my first window, and I can resize it. It's wonderful stuff, but that's all it does. Take a look at my next few videos so we can see how we can do some cool stuff with this and do even more with it. Thanks again. Have a great day. Cheers. See ya. Bye-bye.